Hello YouTube. Well, I have Windows on my Mac here, breaking the rules again because I need uh, Windows to run certain programs. And uh, the other day I was at school and we were preparing for a project. It's basically the week before finals and they're, cr they're crunching in all the final tests and papers and presentations and projects and all that fun stuff. So I brought this computer to school so that we could get started on a PowerPoint. So the night before I... Uh, Turn the, I uh, turned this baby on and stuck uh, Microsoft Office 2010 on it so that we could use PowerPoint. And the reason I did that is, as opposed to using just LibreOffice to begin with, is because uh, the ribbon interface is actually very valuable when it comes to PowerPoint. Uh, when, when it comes to everything else, it's just kind of in the way. But when it comes to PowerPoint, it actually is very beneficial and helps you get to stuff faster. However, I ran into a major issue on this machine, and I'll show you what it is. As you can see down here, I have Office installed. All the 2010 stuff is right there. And I updated all of it, too. It's all up to date, so I open up PowerPoint. And it opens up just fine. But let's go to the title of the slide here, and I'll try to type something. Watch what happens. Whenever I type something, it crashes. It's a really bizarre bug. Here, I'll do it again. It'll... i got to wait for it to finish that. Oh. So let's go back down here and start at PowerPoint again. Let's try typing in the subtitle this time. Here, I'll even change the theme. And it'll work fine. But you go to type something, and it just it crashes. It's just so useless. That's a really stupid bug. That that that's one of the worst bugs I've ever seen out of an office program. It's so buggy that you can't even type words. <laughs> I mean, how I, I, words can't express just how ridiculous of a bug that is. That just shouldn't be happening at this point in a in a computer so in a computer's life. That shouldn't be happening. Word processing is what got the computer started. Typing in words is how computers used to operate entirely back in the day. And now that I now that there's a problem in software where I can't type words. What the hell? Microsoft, what the hell? Well, some updates just showed up in the Windows update for uh Office. Let's see if those fix the issue. There, I just installed the updates and rebooted the machine. Let's see if it'll open this time. Let's go to PowerPoint down there. Well, it'll open, but um, let's see if it has the same problem with typing. Nope, even after the updates, it still does it. Oh, Microsoft. Well, that's disappointing. So I don't know if they had an update at some point that broke it on Windows Vista. But that's really, really bizarre. So I don't know if... The, maybe Windows Vista is the issue. <laughs> but that hasn't stopped any other programs from working, so... If that's the only one, that's really weird. So maybe I have to use Office 2007 on this computer, but... Okay, it's the next day, and I put Windows 7 on this machine just to try this out. Um, I tried to install Office 2010. Look what happened! I got a nice error. Yeah, that's so not cool. So, this seems to be an isolated issue with Office. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Look at this! Look at this! I, uh, what a fucking mess Office is. It's not installed yet, so... I just tried to install it again. OS, or OS... Windows 7 installed without a hitch. It worked perfectly, so... Let's try the traditional setup program and see if that works. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it just doesn't like this computer or this Windows installer or something. No, it didn't like the Vista one either. I'm gonna enter this product key and 
try to get it installed. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, let's try this again. Work. It's probably going to install the 32-bit version this time, which hopefully that works. I don't get it. I've used the 64-bit version before, and it's worked absolutely fine, so I don't know what the deal is with this thing. I have yet to try it on my main computer, which I actually do need to install this on for uh, PowerPoint in school. It's the same reason I need to install on this laptop, because I bring this to school to work on PowerPoints with people. And I'm sure I'll have a lot of those uh, next semester come January, so i got to get this working. And LibreOffice is nice, but it's it's not perfect. It doesn't do PowerPoint perfect. It does Excel, Word, and Access stuff just fine, but I haven't used it for Access much, but Microsoft Word and Excel stuff, it does just fine, but PowerPoint is its big, big, big shortcoming, so I hope this works, or else I'm going to just have to use 2007, which I know works, so... Let's just give this another try. Whoa, it actually installed this time. Let's see if it actually works. Let's try PowerPoint and see if it has that same problem. Don't make changes. All right, let's see if I type words and it crashes. Hey! Huh, maybe the 64-bit version is having problems. That's really odd. The question is, where did it actually install this? Is this the 32-bit version? Yep, it's the 32-bit version. So I guess the 64-bit version is screwed up. That sucks. All right. That's ridiculous. Oh, well. Well, I think that solves the problem, at least for now. I'm going to install the updates and see if maybe one of the updates did it. Maybe Service Pack 1 plus something else did it. But I have a feeling that 64-bit Office 2010 on this computer just doesn't work. And it used to work. I don't know what happened. That's really bizarre. Anyway, yeah, that's that glitch. Just a really bizarre Office bug. Okay, I ran all the updates. Now I started up PowerPoint again. This is the 32-bit version still. So let's see if it's broken. Nope, 32-bit version works on this laptop. That's really bizarre. Yeah, 64-bit version was all screwed up. Well, I have yet to try that on other machines. I assume it's a bug in 64-bit. So if it happens on another machine, I know the solution to fix it. Just install the 32-bit version. That's a pretty easy fix. Anyway... This video has gone on for way too long, so I'll leave you guys with Windows shutting off. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.